How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born a Dream, back with episode number nine of the Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video, and subscribe for some more Pokemon content. So, here is the team and all their moves. Uh, I did my grinding last episode, so obviously I'm not going to do it this episode. And we didn't really battle much last episode, so not much has changed, but... Uh, that is gonna change, well, one thing is gonna change, we're gonna go ahead and take on the gym, and there should be a lot of battling in the gym, so, yeah, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and do this, um, let me see real quick, might wanna get some more potions, antidotes, that sort of thing, just to make sure I am well stocked. <clears throat> so I'll buy three of these, five of these, and I guess another five of these right here. And then the rest can go to repels. Uh, they don't sell repels. Never mind then. That's kind of annoying. But let's go ahead and take on this gym. Which I'm assuming is going to be water, maybe? Might not be water, might be a different typing, but let's just go with uh, Lumbre anyways. It looks like a water gym to me. Hey there! Brooklyn is the gym leader here. She can be loud and annoying when she doesn't get her way. Oh, so you need Brooklyn's badge. Well, shoot. <laughs> She's having some personal troubles right now, and I don't know much. All I can remember, remember is some abductions have been going on in this town the last few months. One person cited that one of the kidnappers looked to be a scientist. Another said they saw some shadowy figure carry their Pokemon away to the forest to the south of town. You might want to look there. Are you saying I can't do anything? Oh. You're being rude by coming in here unannounced. <clears throat> I guess I'm supposed to look for a Pokemon, but let's just battle trainers anyways. <laughs> so it definitely looks like it's going to be a water gym. It definitely looks that way. So. Lumbre is the right Pokemon for this gym. So, yeah. Let's see what your next Pokemon is. Oh, whoa. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a fairy type gym. Okay. Fairy type gym. So maybe I should consider changing up my team a little bit. Hmm. I don't really have any steel or poison types though. That's the that's the thing. Okay, that's way too many double slaps. You do not need to hit all five of those double slaps, man. Come on. <clears throat> I don't think I have any poison types. I have Venonat. It's totally disrespectful, but I'm not gonna. Obviously, I'm not gonna grind it right now. I think what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna put Judy. I'm gonna add Judy to the party, and Bruce is just gonna have to sit in the PC for right now. So we'll do that. Bruce can go in the PC. And we'll get Judy. And I'll even stick Judy in the front. It's Paris. I know the Paris is dead. It's I'm not going to use it for battling. I'm literally just using it the same way as I used the other Mareep I had. I'm just using it for to progress through the game. So it will go back in the PC box when I am done with it, but I don't have any other Pokemon that can learn Cut, so that's why it's still in the party right now. A battle with me? Lucky you! Okay. So they're all cheerleaders, apparently. Alright, so I'm assuming this Wigglytuff is of the sound type, so I don't know if, like, I have no idea what the sound type is strong against, what it's weak to, any of that shit. Apparently, the sound type 
is either normal resist sound or flying resist sound. Might be flying, but let's see. Ralts. Um, I think I'm go with just Judy right now. Trace Tangle Feet. So, I wonder what Pokemon she's going to have. Surely she's going to have Curlia. You have a Togetic. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Mary. So, I would not be surprised if she had, like, a Zumarill, uh, a Wigglytuff. There's a lot of things that she could have. There's a lot of things. She could even have a Togekiss, which would be really annoying. Really fucking annoying. But. Let's see. So you are done. You burned this bridge forever. Oh, well, shit. I guess we're already at the gym leader. Okay. I was, like, the first gym leader, like, so easy to get to, and then, like, the second was just annoying as shit to get to because of all the wild Pokemon. And then this gym leader is like so easy to get to because like literally all you fight is like five mons to get to her. Like why is it that fucking easy? Unless I have to do like a little side quest before I fight her, I can see that being the thing. Cause he did say I might have to go south to look for a Pokemon, but let's just go ahead and try and battle her anyways. Hey! Who said you could barge in here? What? Be nice. My baby is missing, you creep. Why? My baby? I mean my Totodile. I refuse to battle anyone until my baby is returned. Want my badge? Now you better go look for my sweet Totodile. Now! Okay. So... Do I have to go back and be a Pokemon again? If that's the case, then this might be a little annoying. Let's see, I gotta go in here. Maybe the Totodile is in the forest. Like in this part of the forest. The shroomish here. What did I catch? I caught a Pikachu here. That's what I caught. Are you you're not in here? Judy should be in the front, so maybe, maybe I have to get Pidgeotto here to look for the Pokemon. Just like how Ash uses his Pidgeotto whenever he needs to find a Pokemon. Ha ha ha. There's fucking Ghastly's here. I always worry about it. Okay. Do any people know about a fucking Totodile? That's exactly why I have Judy now, because of that trap inch. So it can't arena trap me. It'd be pesky like that. So, let's see. This Ixatu knows anything about. Cut it out. No, it doesn't. That's annoying. Huh. Maybe, hold on. Let me see something. No, I still can't get over there. <sighs> Let's see. Let's just keep exploring. Oh, hi. Oh, hello there. Uh, it seems like I'm pretty hungry. Will you go and get me something tasty to eat? Also, I only eat burnt berries. Oh, well, at least... Good thing I did that last episode. Wonderful! I can't wait to eat, 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 eat. Thank you for the burnt berries. As thanks, here's a Kuro Shard. So now I have four of these fucking things. Oh. Do you want another one? Okay, well now I have five. Um, okay. Well... I guess I'm just gonna keep collecting Kuro shards until I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so we helped this Charmander out earlier. 
Maybe these Charizards can help. Or this Charmander can. Huh. Surely you know something. There's a, uh, rock over here. Maybe a Pokemon can break this. I don't think I have HM Rock Smash. Well, let's just see. I think what's gonna have to happen is I need Rock Smash. I don't think I have Rock Smash on me. Oh, hi there. Snarl, looks like it's not in its right mind. I wonder what happened to it. You placed three churro shards on Charizard's head. Grr, what? Where am I? Who are you? Was I standing around all day? That's just plain unacceptable. I have so many things to do. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Oh shit, what the fuck? How did our guard let this lowly Pokemon pass? Looks like I need to improve my mind control device to make it flawless. Okay. I'm a Pidgeotto fighting a... Just scientist? What the fuck? I hope you don't have a fucking Magnemite, because that's going to be really annoying. That's going to be really annoying if I have to fight... A Magnemite with a Pidgeotto. You have a coughing, okay. So I guess I didn't really explore this entire place the last episode, but... Whatever. Let's get these coughings out of here. Get the coughing out of here. And I'm gonna progress hoping this guy doesn't have a Magnemite, because that would be very annoying if he does. It looks like there's more than just two of these guys here. Huh. Should I go back? No, we're gonna progress. Ah, oh, another good test subject. Please don't have a Magnemite. Please don't have a Magnemite. Please don't have a Magnemite. Please, you have a Ditto. Okay, that's great. That's pretty awesome, actually. Watch it have, like... I was gonna say, watch it have Imposter, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, could not one-shot the Ditto. Well. Still managed to take it out. Cool. <clears throat> I was just trying to catch you to help enhance our, your natural abilities. Oh, what is this about natural abilities? Oh, hi, Totodile. Is there anyone else here? No? Looks like just this Totodile is here. Wow, you made it! However, I'm not sure if I want to go back to my owner or not. She is just so annoying. Wait, you met a brainwashed Charizard? I won't take my chances. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, I miss you so much, my little Totodile. Thank you so much. Oh, if you want to battle me, then meet me at my gym back in Laurel City. She took off in haste. Well, I guess we have to go back now. So it was, I guess if um, I went straight to the gym, it would have been a little more annoying if uh, <clears throat> I fought those two trainers and then I went and fought the gym, or tried to fight the gym leader. And then she said, oh, you have to go to the forest to find my toad out. And then I had to go through that whole freaking maze. Yeah, that would have been great. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just heal our Pokemon here. And fight the gym leader. So, let's do this. So, let's see what you got. Alright, thank you for finding my sweet little Totodile. Later, I'm going to put some makeup on it 
make it ver look very pretty and hold it all day long. All oh, right, you want my badge? Well, fine, let's do this. I'm Brooklyn, and I train fairy-type Pokemon. They're just so adorable that I just can't resist this type. Why does she have a Toad of all things? Oh, that's... that's a... It's a fine look-up. I don't know. So we have a Jigglypuff. Probably start going for rollouts, but let's see. Oh, you're doing defense curl rollouts. Okay, well. Hopefully I can still take it out. Hopefully I got a crit. Awesome. Judy is putting in work. He's putting in work. Let's go with Mary. So she has this little Meryl here. I guess she's not going to have this Zoomerill. So, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. They don't seem to like to use potions. That's kind of weird. I expect the next... Oh, God, it's a Jigglypuff. Or, it's a Wigglytuff. I expect the next gym leader to start using potions, but... We're gonna go into uh, Lumbre. Yep, level 24. Okay. So we're on. We are on par with this gym. So let's go ahead and Leech Steed, and it's gonna start doing that. Okay, that's that's a problem. And I can't sack off Paris this time because it's dead. So I can't do that again. So. I'm going to have to uh, take this wiggly tough out with just sheer power. But we can dig so that way these rollouts don't get any stronger. And it's going to keep losing HP because of Leech Seed. Oh, so close. But we took it out. Cool! What if Puppetara like evolved right like right now? That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Bubble Bean, yes, I will definitely teach you this. I will definitely teach you this. Alright, forgot Bubble got Bubble Bean. Leader Brooklyn was defeated. Alright, alright, so you beat me. Fine, take this gram of metal. Oh, the badge. The charm badge. So for some reason, the Charm Badge will let your Pokemon use Strength outside of battle. Also, since I'm such a little angel, I'll let you have this. TM Attract. Awesome. If you excuse me, I need to put on dresses for my cute, darling little Totodile. Um, I don't think Totodile is going to appreciate this. Thank goodness she saved her Totodile. I was getting a headache from her whining, and this job doesn't pay enough. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I was gonna say, can I get the Totodile? Whines. Totodile has decided to join your party. <laughs> Damn, this Totodile really wanted to get the fuck away from her. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. <laughs> Little Totodile sprite. Well, um. After losing Cyndaquil, this is a nice little, uh, gift, I guess. Uh, what do I call, what would I call Frolic Ears? Let's call it Big Jaws. Big Jaws, because it's got big jaws. It's got giant-ass jaws. Alright. Turn it out to Bill's PC. So what, what happens if I go back in here and talk to her? My toad is gone again. What do you mean you won't help me find it? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> so I basically just stole the toad out from her. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, she's gonna be looking for that toad out for a long while. A long ass time. 
Well, that's awesome. I got a toad owl now. So, uh, it's probably gonna chill in the PC for a bit. But, uh, hopefully I won't need this Paris anymore, so now I can actually, it's level 15. Water, and it's holding a dive ball. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and scoop up Bruce. I'm hoping I'm not gonna need Paris for a while, so. We'll go ahead and go with Bruce here. Let's see, we can now go into this cave. So, it's still Laurel City. I didn't get the little uh, notification or whatever that this is a new area, so I guess it's still a Laurel City encounter. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? Okay. What's going on with you, buddy? Hold on! North of the cave lies the region of Tunai. You're not strong enough to handle the trainers there yet. Come back when you have grown more as a trainer. Oh. That's interesting. So, I can't get those items there. Or can I? Seems like sort of a straight path, but where's all the magic carps? I was expecting to see like a thousand magic carps. Oh, there's a dude over here. And there's water. Okay, well let's get this. Whoops. Let's get this item here. Hardstone. Okay. I was expecting to see like a million magic carps and a fucking Gyarados even. Like, come on now. Is there an item down here? No. No item down here. Alright, well, what's going on with this guy over here? Welcome! I see you found your way around this s sacred fish. Oh, so you failed to notice how this cave is designed. I have aligned the rocks in here to look like the Pokemon I idolize. Yes, the majestic fish Pokemon called Magic Carp. Tales of its past have shown. It to be more powerful than it is currently. In my family it is told that my ancestors would pray on a daily basis for the fish to return to its former glory days. Okay, what do you mean Gyarados? Blasphemy! I talk about its former birth form. Okay, you know what? I'm done arguing with non-believers. What's that? The path in the forest is blocked. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell that fellow to move. If you can complete a small task for me, I have the ability to change you into a real magic card. Really, I do not lie. In that legendary form, you'll get to experience what magic card around the world have to deal with daily. That is navigating in the ra rapids. Then maybe you won't think they are so weak. Also, keep in mind that once the task begins, I will not change you back until you, you fully complete the task. I'm going to say no. Suit yourself. Keep in mind my fellow worshipper isn't going to move without my permission. I feel like that is an episode in itself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. So i like to thank you guys for watching. Like, com comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. In the next episode, um, we're going to be a Magikarp. That's going to be a really interesting experience. So uh, I will see you guys then. Keep living the dream. Goodbye.